The Princess Series Princess Rosette A long time ago, in a place not too far from here, there lived a royal family that had two brave sons and a wonderful daughter, Princess Rosette. One day, Princess Rosette went for a walk in the forest with her beloved dog, Frisk. It was there that Rosette saw the most beautiful creature she had ever seen. It was a peacock that had come from the faraway kingdom of peacocks. Princess Rosette realized she wanted to get to know the king of the peacocks, as there was nothing in this world she loved as much as peacocks. When she returned from the forest, Rosette told her brothers of her wish. Rosette's brothers wanted to help her with her wish, and so they went out in search of the kingdom of peacocks. After a long journey, the brothers finally saw the king of the peacocks driving by in a chariot drawn by seven of his beautiful birds. So they followed the king back to his castle. Rosette's older brother pulled a portrait of Rosette from his bag and showed it to the king of the peacocks. He told the king that his sister would love to get to know him, as she too loves peacocks. The king of the peacocks stared at the painting for quite some time. Finally, he said if she was as nice as her portrait made her seem, he would like to get to know her too. If she wasn't nice, Rosette's brothers would have to spend the rest of their lives in prison. Rosette's brothers agreed to the king's demands. They sent Rosette a letter telling her to come to the kingdom of peacocks immediately. With her dog Frisk by her side, Princess Rosette set off for the kingdom of peacocks. Her nurse joined her for the journey, along with the nurse's daughter. Princess Rosette trusted her nurse to take care of her while she explored the new kingdom and met the king. But the nurse had other plans. The nurse wanted her daughter to be the one who met the king. The nurse told the captain that she had a plan to throw the princess overboard that night and put the princess's clothes on her daughter so that she could pretend to be the princess and marry the king of the peacocks. The nurse offered the captain all the gold she had, and he agreed to the devious plan. While Princess Rosette was asleep, the nurse, her daughter, and the captain took Rosette's mattress and threw her overboard. Luckily, the mattress was filled with peacock feathers, so she was able to safely float on the water. Princess Rosette and Frisk drifted off away from the boat while the nurse and her daughter continued on to the kingdom of peacocks. When the boat arrived in the kingdom of peacocks, the nurse's daughter, pretending to be the princess, was rude to everyone she met. She went up to the king of the peacocks and introduced herself as Princess Rosette. The king of the peacocks was shocked. The princess wasn't at all like the king thought she would be. She wasn't nice to him or anyone in the castle. Because of this, he sent Rosette's brothers to prison and sent the nurse and her daughter away immediately. Out at sea, Rosette and Frisk floated on their mattress in the ocean for two days before they reached the shore. Rosette sent Frisk into the nearby village to get food for dinner. Frisk went to the nicest smelling kitchen he could find and took the food back to Rosette. Meanwhile, the king of the peacocks was upset to find that his food had been stolen from his kitchen and sent guards to see who had taken his food. The guards found Rosette and Frisk and took them to the castle to have them imprisoned. There, the king took a closer look at the girl and realized she looked just like the princess from the portrait. The king asked the girl her name, and she told him her name was Rosette. The king of the peacocks was amazed. 
the rude girl he had seen earlier hadn't been the princess at all. The king of the peacocks released Rosette's brothers immediately. Rosette and her brothers were happy to see each other again. Over the next few years, Princess Rosette and the king of the peacocks fell in love and eventually had a beautiful peacock-themed wedding. The king of the peacocks and Princess Rosette lived happily ever after. The End This has been Princess Rosette, narrated by Paula Larvik.